for today, I'm going to make you the first two rows, the first and the second as our item. So, we are going to call on our women fellowship chapters. They go sign up. You are ready to say, so don't show your friends your friends.
Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom has come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespasses against us and leave us not in temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hey Jehovah and Jesus Christ. Sit down, Jesus. 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 I thank God Almighty and His beloved Son Jesus Christ, who made this thing be a reality. We held our last meeting and we come to a resolution that from this 2024, you know, we have to add something that will be interesting in our mass meeting from what we have been doing before. Then we all agree and decided that the three mass meeting we're supposed to have for the year, each group sisters will take lead by God's grace. I thank God Almighty and His Son Jesus Christ in making the strong of this mass meeting is being taken up by our lovely Elizabeth Group sisters. Elizabeth Group sisters! We thank God Almighty. What are we here today? We are here because come, let us raise it together. In first uh, Isaiah 18. Let it be 4, 18, 16. He said, wash you. Make you clean. What will we use to wash us and make us clean to appear before our God Almighty and His Son Jesus Christ? Is His Word, which is written in uh, Romans 15 4. There. He said, The Word of God, which we hear, that makes us clean. So, in our mass meeting today, in view of the problem we are seeing in the world today, because in Luke 21, 26, he said we must, there is a period, at the last day, perilous time will come, and we are seeing it. And who are the people at the root of this problem, economic problem? He says sickness, many of they are there. We, we carefully take our team for this many mass meeting for the word our Lord and Master Jesus Christ told us in John 14, verse 1, Make not your heart be what? Troubled. Why did he say, Make not your heart be troubled? In face Peter 5 7, he told us there that we stack all our cares upon God for he cares of, for us. He said, We be taken in Psalm 55. Verse 22. And now one was seven. Can sister read now? One, verse seven. Do we see all these promises of God in the Bible? This is why Jesus Christ reiterated in uh, John 14 1. He said, Let not your heart be troubled. Because God, our Father, who promised us, is faithful. He never fell. He said he will never leave us or forsake us. And that is reality. There's no one one seven. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. All the time by God's grace. The stronghold in the day of trouble. You see, the trouble we are going through today. God Almighty has told us through now that he is a stronghold in the time of trouble. Yes. And he knows them that trust him in him. And he knows the people that trust in him. So I won't waste much time in opening speech. Apart from that, you know, women, 
we are at the hem of the taking care of the home. You know that. You go this afternoon to buy a cup of rice, a delicate cup of rice, 1,000. Go in this they will tell you it's 2,000. So, and our husbands working, they are not, they didn't increase salary. They didn't. So, we as women in the Lord, this is when we have to show we are really a Christian woman to bear with our husband. To see, because I know women, we are very good in economics. You know what I want to put together and present balanced diet on the table without giving hassle to your husband. So this one, boys on marriage, the unit of the hand and wife, the husband and the children. Hence, we call our brother today, who is ever in this topic. They will coin it. Let us talk about marriage. My fellow sisters in the Lord, you can see, you look at what is happening today, we carefully selected our talks today by God's grace and power. Sister! in the person of Sister Alfaro.